Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof. Omar. Today we're going to talk about a problem on a GRE math subject test practice test that a lot of people got wrong. Uh, and one of the things that's interesting about it is it's a complicated seeming equation, uh, but because of the answer choices that we have, we can get an answer pretty quickly. So the question asked how many positive numbers x satisfy the equation cosine of 97x is x. And the choices are 1, 15, 31, 49, and 96. So one of the things I want to observe about the answers is they're quite spread apart. So what we can do is get an idea of how many solutions there are, but not exactly how many solutions there are, like a good estimate, and then use these numbers to figure out what the estimate is close to. And then whatever the estimate is close to is the answer that we should use. Um, so how do we get an estimate? Well, what we can do is think about the graph of this thing uh, and the, the graph of the two functions. So I'll look at the graph of y equals cosine 97x and the graph of y equals x. Now, every time that these graphs intersect, we'll get a solution to this equation. So let's look just at one period of cosine 97x to get a sense of what it looks like. So it starts up here, goes down like this, and goes up to here. All right, the period of cosine of x is two pi. So the period of this is two pi over 97. And then we ask ourselves how many solutions we get. So there's a piece of the red graph. The green graph, will look something like this. And so graphically, we see that there are about two solutions. This line y equals x will keep going until it hits the value one, one. After that, I won't intersect the graph y equals cosine 97x at all. So that then tells us that our cutoff point here is roughly when we get a one, which is about this many periods. We need the total here to be one, so the number of periods is roughly 97 over two pi. So we get two solutions for every interval, and the number of intervals we're gonna have to get to this point one, one is this. Right, so the number of solutions should then be two times 97 over two pi, roughly. This is 97 over pi, and pi is roughly a little bit greater than three, so this thing should be a little bit less than 97 over three. That's, let's see, so this is close to 96 over three, and 96 over three is roughly 32. So it should be something on the order of 32, something slightly less than it. And the only thing that comes close to that here is answer choice C. So I like this problem a lot. And the reason is because it really relies on having these answers here to get an estimate of the number of solutions. And we can look at this completely graphically to get an estimate of the number of solutions to this thing. So if you like this approach, click the like button. And if you wanna see more videos for strategies like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications on future videos.